Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's start with creating a new composition. Name it as lower third. For this composition, I will set time duration to 5 seconds. Here first we will add all the text layers. Main text, subtext, and description. Here I am using Montserrat font family, for main text, I will set font style to black. Increase the font size. Increase the tracking amount. Perfect. Now let's add the subtext. For subtext, set font style to semi bold. Or you can also set it to medium. Perfect. Now let's add the description part. For this text layer, I will set font style to regular. Reduce the font size. Turn caps on for this text layer. For this text layer, in paragraph, set it to left text. Perfect. Now let's animate them one by one. For main text layer, in animate, select opacity, set opacity to 0%. In range selector, at start, create keyframe for offset, go at 2 seconds. Set offset to, 100%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. For animator 1, let's add, property, position. Set Y position to, 50. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select the pen tool. Set fill option to none. Set stroke option to, solid color. Increase the stroke value. Now create a straight line as shown. Increase the stroke value in such a way that the text get hidden. For this shape layer. Let's add trim path. For trim path, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for end. At start, change end to 0%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now place this shape layer above subtext layer. For subtext, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 1. For subtext, press P to bring up position. At 2 seconds, 
Create keyframe for position. At start of the timer line, adjust position as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this shape layer. Place it above. Unhide the layer. For this shape layer. In trim path. At 10 frames. Create keyframe for start. Now go at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Adjust the start position value as shown. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's animate the description. For text layer. In animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. In range selector, at start, create keyframe for offset. Go at 1 second and 15 frames. Set offset to 100%. In advance, change based on to words. For animator 1, let's add, property, position, set y position to, 15. Now for this text layer, from animate, select line spacing, at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for spacing, at start, set line spacing for x to, minus 300. For text layer, press P to bring up position, at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for position. At start, change X position value as shown. You can see the preview. Now press U to view all created keyframes. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now we will place this layer at 20 frames. At 5 frames, let's position this shape layer. Place the both main text and subtext at 2 frames. Perfect, you can see the preview. Now let's see how to create an and out effect for this lower third. Select all layers, pre-compose them. Name it as title. Now for this title composition. Go to time, and enable time remapping. At 2 seconds and 10 frames, create keyframe for time remap. Now depending on the time duration you want the lower third to be visible, you can create another keyframe. Here at 3 seconds and 15 frames, I will set time duration to, 2 seconds and 10 frames. Your lower third will be visible for this time duration between these two keyframes. Now for the end keyframe, set time to, 0. Here you can see the preview. 
here you can see, the in and out effect, for our lower third is created. If you want to speed up this animation, you can adjust the position of second keyframe. Here you can adjust the position of this composition, you can place it according to your video footage, on which you are going to use this lower third. You can also scale this lower third to reduce the size of the lower third. Or make it small for your video, you can see the preview. If you want your text to have different color, then from effects and preset, search for fill, you can add this fill effect for the text layer, and set color of your choice. Perfect. Here our lower third is ready, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.